Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Honey. That was the only B reference I knew. <laughs> So anyways, yes, hello everybody. I am back with another fun, fresh, and fierce video after a week and a half hiatus. Because let's be real, the last video was emotional and I needed to recuperate. But I am back with a very random video. And as you can probably guess from the title, I'm gonna be answering questions from Bumble. <laughs> I'm not actually answering you know, questions from Bumble matches or Bumble people. There's actually presets on Bumble that you could use to spice up your profile, which is why I prefer Bumble over Tinder, even though social media dating is shit. I'm sorry if you were misled by the title thinking I'd be answering questions from strangers because hell nah, I'm not gonna be like telling people on the internet that I do videos for a living. So, the first three I answered, which are on my profile. The first one is, I feel most empowered when dot dot dot. Dot dot dot! You know what I put? I have full creative freedom in something I'm producing or making, which is why I'm doing YouTube and I'm so proud of myself because I'm doing this and I'm living on my most empowered self right now. <laughs> I'm so thankful to you guys. Thank you so much. What is your must-see movie? I put Blue Jay or Seeking a Friend for the End of the World. Honestly, cinematic masterpieces. Y'all better get to watching them because I would recommend them to anybody. My pet peeve, oh my god, okay, this is gonna like maybe attack some people that are watching this. But my pet peeve are pretentious dimwits. Okay, my two, two least favorite things in the world are dumb people and pretentious people. So I just put two and two together and like that's my biggest pet peeve. So now we're actually gonna dive in to the questions that I haven't answered yet. First question! My dream dinner guest, Evie Oddly. Hey girl, but like hey, if y'all didn't know, Evie Oddly followed me on Instagram after the Drag Race DIY. So yeah, I am like Evie Oddly approved. So yes, I would love to meet Evie in person and actually be able to discuss some fashion stuff with her. Two truths and a lie. Y'all are gonna have to figure this out, okay. I was a competitive swimmer. I drank before the age of 10. And I have hemorrhoids. My third grade teacher described me as... Honestly, I have no idea. I probably blocked out most of my childhood memories because... The person slash thing that holds me the most accountable. Honestly, Kelly. Oh. Not even kidding. I love you, girl. She keeps me in check. I keep her in check even though I don't have to keep her in check. So yeah. Thank you. After work, you can find me. Honestly, after this video, I'm just gonna be jerking off. No, <gasps> gag. No, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. Oh my god, here is my favorite question that everybody on Bumble somehow fucking answers. Beach or mountains? Beach or mountains? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna be like quick fire beach. Childhood celebrity crush. Oh my god. Oh my god! I have a, the perfect interesting answer for this. My childhood celebrity crush was Johnny Bravo. <laughs> like, He's disgusting. Like, me now would find anybody in real life who's like Jolly Bravo disgusting, but them guns, <laughs> them pecs. Oh, and here's another fucking stupid vanilla question Nightclub or Netflix? Honestly, I just go with Netflix. I, oh my god, this is, this is already boring me. This question is boring me because every single fucking person answers this on Bumble. If I could only have three things on a deserted island, they'd be. Okay. First off, I would have my phone because I want to be that bougie ass motherfucker that orders a helicopter or private jet to deliver Taco Bell. Second, a nice set of clothes so that even though I'm stuck on a deserted island, I could still post to Instagram like, hey bitches. What does that have to do with anything, bitch? And I guess lastly, I'd have an internet connection. You know, I could actually still film videos on my phone, you know, like, like up the island update number one. I died. <laughs> if I could donate a million dollars, it'd be to okay. I'll actually be serious about this. Homeless LGBT youth. Like I feel like that would be my first thing. I honestly want to help people of my kind, people that belong to the LGBTQ plus community. Y'all deserve it. It's a rough world out there, so I'm here to help. Hopefully, if we get a bigger viewer base, I'll be able to help the world in some way, shape, or form because I really do want to help the world. All right, oh my god, speaking of the LGBTQ plus community, the next question is, equality to me means, honestly, I don't believe in equality. I believe in equity. 
I believe, okay, I guess to me, uh, maybe, I don't want to dive into the, um, the nuances, not the nuances, I don't want to dive into the nitty gritty of what equality versus equity is, but basically, I believe that everybody should be treated fairly, but based on your standard of living, or if that makes any sense. Know your privilege, basically, but treat everybody equally and treat, know that whatever privilege you have, you could use to make everybody else's life better. Come on, advocacies! If I had an extra hour in the day, I would sleep. I'm a nocturnal motherfucker, but I need more fucking sleep. I sleep when the sun rises, and I would love another day. Another day? Oh my god. I would love another hour to sleep. Honestly, why am I trying to complicate this question? I just want to fucking sleep. If I were famous, it'd be for this. That was a serious answer, but yeah. If if I were famous, it'd be for this. I wouldn't want to be famous any other way. And honestly, I don't even want to be famous, but I want to have a platform. And that's basically it. Like, I want to have this platform. I just want to have this solid community that I, I just want to give back to. And I, I'm, I think I'm slowly doing that, and I'm proud of myself. Favorite quality in a person? An intellect. Depth and intellect. Easily. Favorite quality in a person is depth and intellect. I don't care how hot you are. I want somebody that has depth. That has a brain, that has substance, because I cannot stand shallow people. We'll get along if, yeah, basically, if you have substance and intellect. Because I think having substance and intellect comes with having humor. Like, if you have substance and intellect, you have humor. And I also look a lot, I, I look for humor a lot. So, yeah, basically, same, same answer. Go to song is Right Now, Last Dance by Donna Summer. <laughs> Like seriously, Last Dance, I listen to that at least 5-10 times a day. And I just feel my Scarlet Envy fantasy and just like lip sync in my room by myself. I'm most grateful for this. I've already said it in multiple videos in the past, but I'm genuinely, genuinely, incredibly grateful for what I have right now. I'm the happiest I've ever been because of YouTube. I'm, happiest, I'm the happiest I've ever been because I get to create and I wouldn't want to do anything else. You know what I mean? So I'm really, really grateful for this. I'm grateful for you guys. I'm grateful for everything, honestly. I'm, I'm in a really, really good place. So yeah, thank you, everybody. If I could be a guest star on a show, it'd be on... Do I even have to say it? Oh my god, do I even have to say it? Biggest loser, duh. Because I am the biggest loser. But yeah, obviously Drag Race. Oh my god, if y'all didn't know that, obviously Drag Race. Most inspiring person I've met. Oh my god, this is gonna sound super cheesy. But I'm not even kidding you, Cal. I love you, but oh my god. I'm saying too many good things about you, but yeah. My go-to karaoke song, oh my god, oh my god, okay. My go-to karaoke song is, actually I have two. My joke go-to karaoke song is Come On and Out of the Rain. But my actual go-to karaoke song is She Will Be Loved by Maroon 5. If I could eat only one meal for the rest of my life, it would be... Oh shit, what would it be? Dick! But yeah, I think I'd say Taco Bell, like a solid, like... Crunch wrap supreme with no tomatoes. Oh my god, my mouth is watering. Perfect first date. Oh my god, I know! Six flags! I'm a thrill whore. I'm a thrill junkie. And honestly, I want somebody that's scared of rides just so that I could fuck them over and be like, we are gonna go to the scariest shit and you are gonna wanna depend on me. Because I wanna feel how it feels like to be dependent on. The person I text the most, oh my god, seriously, hi Kali. Oh. The person I text the most, hello, Miss oh. Angela Kaleon. Kali oh. Kaleon. I quote too much from. Oh my god, shit! This is a good question. As you can probably tell, like from videos in the past, I quote from a lot of things. And my friends get really fucking annoyed when I quote from the most random places because I am a quote whore. But I guess the obvious answer would be Jag Race. But the thing I quote the most is Life's a Blast from ANTM Cycle 11. Life's a blast. Are you ready for it? The three things that make a relationship great. Faith, trust, and pixie dust. My secret skill. Oh my god! Oh my god, okay. My secret skill that I'm honestly just discovering myself now is that I can do impressions. I'm not gonna do it now because I honestly am planning to save that for a video. So if you want to see me do an impressions video, thumbs up this video and comment down below. If I could have a superpower, it'd be... Oh my god! I love this question. Okay. You guys know Shadowcat, like Kitty Pride from X-Men. Probably that. She's like my favorite X-Men and Marvel superhero. So yes, I would be want to face through walls and teleport and like fix time and shit. You know, that, that, that sounds really fun. Alright, if I had three wishes, I'd wish for faith, trust, 
and sexy dance. <laughs> <laughs> and the final question for this Bumble Q&A is if you could solve one problem in the world, it be. I believe that the one problem I would like to solve in the world right now is hunger. Hunger for a dick. Because a lot of people are hungry for things that they do not need, which is dick. Because you, as a woman, as a gay man, as a proud human being, do not need dick to function in life. Thank you. <laughs> So that ends my Bumble Q&A. I hope you guys learned a little bit more about me. Because I don't think I did. But yeah, hopefully that was entertaining. And if y'all want more Q&As in the future, just comment, like, whatever. You know what I mean? So yes, hello everybody. <laughs> the fuck? So yes guys, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel and if you haven't already. Don't forget to leave a like if you support learning more about other people and learning more about yourself in the process and lastly don't forget to hit the bell button to be notified when i upload a new video and before all is said and done i want to give a shout out to miss colleen abea because i am sorry sis i would have shouted you out in the last video but you know that was serious so yeah hello miss colleen thank you so much for being a great support of this channel and thank you for viewing I guess this ends our video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to like the Facebook page. And yeah, that's it. This is me, Jalo Campo, signing off. Oh, honey!